Yes, of course, it is the 60th anniversary of the Merry Monarch Hula Festival. And Lacey joins me here in the H&N Digital Center for kind of a trip down memory lane. Dylan, this is so cool looking back at all these archive footage of the Merry Monarch Festival celebrating its 60th anniversary this year. Yes, this is one of our reports from 1981. Ooh. Those who prefer the Hula Awana stage of Merry Monarch competition say it is because Awana allows the personality of the dancer to shine through. The Awana stage also glitters with a pageantry of costumes. And one thing, Lacey, that I love is these old-fashioned costumes love here. Love it. This is definitely just from an Arab before us. I mean, the extravagance of this, the, the papale, the feathers. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? The iconic hat with the feather in it. I love the shoes. I feel like that's something that the archive footage has been showing a lot of. But really just the elegance overall of these Olapa taking the stage at Mary Monarch. And also that Hula Awana portion, like the commentator had said, just to show your fun side, the expressions through your fun Awana performances. Yeah, and it's actually, uh, you mentioned the shoes. A lot of Halal used to dance with shoes mm -hmm. back then. We see some today that do be, it all depends on the melee, of course. Uh, what is fitting and what is appropriate for their song, but um, a lot of them back then had shoes on. And this is actually uh, the winning halal there in 1981. The halal onama olepua of Oahu. The excitement on their faces right there. Oh, the vintage oh, 1981. Wow. Such beautiful times back then, such beautiful times. I also want to go and play out some images from 1986. Ooh. A lot of people remember this Kane performance. In the Kane division, Daryl Lupinue's group, Men from Waimapuna, wins four of the festival's top seven awards. So many people just brought to their feet from this performance. Wow, look they, at that creativity. Yeah, the strength in the performance. And Daryl Lupinue, a, a true legend and his legacy and continues the, the, to live on in his haumana who have become kumuhula yeah, today. Yeah. And one more clip I want to touch base on is the 1986 year. Uh, there was actually a severe storm mm -hmm. that rolled through, knocked out power, um, and long story short, the competition chant was about uh, the storms of Hina. No. And people were concerned because repeating these chants over and over wakes up uh, some power. So this is what happened. Take a listen to this report again. This is 1986. <laughs> So despite the festive mood, it was haunting, if not coincidental, to think that the night's intense lightning and thunderstorm literally shook Edith Kanaka Ole Indoor Tennis Stadium. The storm caused a 40-minute blackout. Competition resumed when power was restored, but it paused again for one hula instructor who said the night wasn't right for her young women to perform. My concern and care is first for my ladies. Thank you. Of course, that is Kumuhula Mapuana de Silva of Halau Mohala Ilima. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this look back at the Merry Monarch archive footage. And of course, we'll be bringing you so much more Merry Monarch content as we go ahead and celebrate the 60th anniversary. See you in Hilo. Does that mean that you and I are vintage? Yeah, <laughs> without a doubt. Our coverage of the Merry Monarch Festival begins tomorrow with the Hoike performances at 6 p.m. on K5. The competition runs from Thursday to Saturday, also at 6. By the way, as she mentioned, see you in Hilo. Sunrise is going on, on the, the road. road. So Lacey, Billy, and I, we're going to be live from Hilo starting tomorrow morning and again celebrating 60 years of Merry Monarch. We are celebrating Merry Monarch Week with a fun giveaway to test your knowledge of Hula and the festival. Answer each daily question for a chance to win some great prizes from our featured sponsors. Yeah, today's question, the Merry Monarch Festival honors the legacy of which Hawaiian monarch? Answer correctly and you might win prizes from our featured sponsors or our grand prize of a two-night stay at an Ocean View suite at the Ala Moana Hotel. Yeah, just head to our Hawaii News Now Facebook page to enter. Howard. And